Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of skincare and a makeup video. All products used from the dollar store, yes, right here in Pakistan. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I will do is put on this soft headband. Be pretty like you. Okay, let me open it. Now, this headband is made up of very soft coral fleece material. Soft and fluffy, very friendly to the skin. Now, it has very good elasticity, very comfortable to wear. It can be repeatedly washed without losing its shape. Okay, I have to find that out. I cannot say anything about that right now. Okay, now it does have very good elasticity and easily fits to the size of your head. Now, these headbands can be used for anything, especially when you're doing your makeup, washing your face, doing facials, doing yoga, running, exercising, or anytime you just want to keep your hair out of your face. It is good for all of those things. Okay, so let's do the dollar store skincare just before putting on the makeup. Urea eye cream reduces dry wrinkles with 5% urea for very dry skin. It's only for under the eyes. One of my problem areas, that's why I got this. You can pause the video and just read it for yourself. So runny. Astaghfirullah. What is that? <gasps> no! Just how to use, you have to clean the skin in the morning and evening with their washing gel and toning. And then you just apply this urea eye cream around the eyes. That's my problem area. See these lines? It's, it's not even like lotion texture. It is so watery. What is this? Is it helping? Hmm. Seems to have hydrated everything. I'm doing it in the infinity shape. And then you just gently pat it in. On the box it's written it is skin compatible as in it is suitable for contact lens users. It was just so runny and smell wise. No smell though. So the next item is this aloe vera soothing sheet mask from Kiss Beauty which is natural essence. Now this one will moisten, brightens the skin color, attractive, more tender, smooth, bright, nourish and repair. Very easy to use this face mask. Remove the mask from this packaging, put it on your face. Uh, make sure your skin is clean. Then I'm going to put the sheet mask from the dollar store. This you just need to have a clean skin. And you just leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> and then you peel off the plastic. And this excess serum. You just apply to your hands. And neck. Now, while the sheet mask is doing its magic, let me just play some games so we can pass the time. <laughs> it's kind of stinging. Uh, this is what happens when you have dollar store products. Now, wait for 15 to 20 minutes and then remove it. Pat the remaining essence to help absorption. Now everything on the packaging you can see is in Chinese so I did have to go and find out all the translations. So this one is the description. It's a ball design. You have to use a rolling massage around the eyes. This has plant essence. It helps to replenish, moisturize the eye skin. Appearance with pen-like design. It is suitable for handheld, easy to carry, can be used at any time. Now this is being marketed for dark eye circle remover as well as a wrinkle anti-puffiness eye essence. And helps the eye contour to look very youthful, very bright and wrinkle free. Now on how to use it, step one, you have to clean the face before using the product. You have to roll gently around the eye skin. Roll for five to ten times back and forth. Gently dab the eye skin by fingertips which helps better absorption. It's very nourishing to the skin and it leaves the skin for a long time feeling very moisturized, 
very silky. It's super hydrating and firming, relieves dryness and fine lines. This smells very perfumey. Okay, so the first step is always moisturizer. Okay, here I'm using the Relax Feel Confidence Body Lotion, triple activity for skin brightening, whitening performance with clutching. What is clutching? Collagen and vitamin C. Nourish and moisturize the skin with aloe vera oil. Not that much. Now I'm just going to be applying this lotion gently all over my face and just slowly massaging it in. So this is the Kiss Beauty All Day Ideal Stay 24 Hour Lightweight Eyeshadow Base. Long lasting, bright and easy to wear, waterproof, water resistant, natural smoothing, hide the wrinkles eye primer. Okay. It is specially formulated to prolong the look of your eye makeup. This base keeps eye makeup looking fresh and vibrant all day, extends the wear of your eyeshadow for up to 24 hours. This innovative new formula saves eyeshadows from creasing and fading while allowing use to stay color true for up to a full day. I'm gonna go in with the eye primer. Everything is so bunny. Just apply it to clean dry lids as I'm doing right here. Blend well from lash line to brow. Allow to set for 30 seconds. It is so bad. It doesn't want to dry. And if, if I do this, and it's not full coverage at all, it's so liquidy. For powder, I'm gonna be using this. Using the sponge applicator that came with this, I'm gonna gently tap the powder onto the eyelids. This doesn't want to dry. What is up with this uh, eye primer? That is horrible. See? It's still wet. Okay, next up we have the Ballet Rain 2-in-1 Waterproof Long-Lasting Exquisite Eyeliner and Seal. And on the sides you can see all the different stamping designs they have. I got the winged one. Now this high pigment smudge resistant formula has all day long wear that you can trust to stay put, create any look imaginable on every eye shape. The brush tip delivers easy application and ultimate precision, making tattoo liner the perfect tool for everyone from beginners to pros. Each pen of the wing eyeliner stamp tool has two ends, one end for stamping and the other has a tip for defining the rest of the eye with precision. Now all you have to do is just line up the stamp from the corner of your eye to the end of your eyebrow to create the same wing on each side. This is definitely for practicing. I did not get it right at the first try and I am going to be fixing my eyeliner later on. It's spreading everywhere. And it's literally stinging the eyes. Like, what? It smells so sharp. Look, it's spreading. It's spreading here. You can see it. This eyeliner is a nightmare. It doesn't even want to transfer onto my eye. Look at this. The patches are coming out. I'm sorry, this is like really horrible makeup. And look, you know this thing I stamped here? It's not even waterproof. So then I got this palette right here. There were no brush sets there. They were out of stock. There was no concealer that was out of stock. I'm just going to use my old fluffy brush. So first, let me put this all over the eyes with this transition color. Uh, maybe if I didn't put that uh, eye primer, this would actually look a bit decent. There's a shimmer shade right here, shimmer shade. Is it shimmering? That's not even shimmering. I did get this um, eye shadow thing. Okay, so this is the 2-in-1 Eye Primer and Glitter Eyeshadow. So the Glitter Primer is specially formulated to keep the glitter in place. Using the primer not only enhances the reflective quality of the glitter, spelling is all over the place. It also prevents messy fallout and creasing. And for the Glitter Eyeshadow, they have mentioned it is water-resistant liquid eyeshadow, specially formulated for long-lasting wear, ultra-fine brush applicator, Ensures precision lining, dries fast, and stays on with a bold finish. So let's put the eye primer first. So liquidy. The eye primer mentions it has glue in it, but there's nothing sticky about it. So wet, and they don't dry quickly. <gasps> See where I touched it? It took out a bit of it. 
great. Thanks. Wherever this is touching, it's checking out the product. It's checking out the shimmer I just put in. Then I'm going to add the glitter. Because that's what's written. You have to put that primer first and then you have to put the glitter. <gasps> oh, it stings. Why does all the dollar shop makeups it's stinging me? It's removing all the product that's beneath. That is so bad. This is the worst thing ever. So next up, I have this aqua cake liner. Now this can be applied using a small amount of water. You can make brows, you can do eyeliner, you can also put this inside your eye. I'm gonna try it inside my eyes. Let's see how that goes. Ah, it stings! <gasps> Ouch. Okay, bad idea, don't do that. Now, primer. Okay, so this is the Master Prime Pore Minimizing Primer. Not that much written, it's just mentioned here that it's anti-dullness. Visibly brightens for smoother looking even toned skin and for application just use it alone or under makeup I'm gonna take a generous amount of the primer and apply it all over my face after that I'm just gonna be gently patting and pushing the primer onto the areas where I have the larger pores But It literally feels like cream the aqua liner was a bad idea my eyes are like all cloudy feel like a lotion. It feels like a moisturizer. This, what kind of a primer is this? This is not a primer. Then we have the Pixi UV Whitening Immaculate Liquid Foundation. It's mattifying, waterproof, and durable with SPF of 15. High concealer degrees. Contains light particles, natural decoration, dark, waxy skin color, close skin, and concealer. Give skin natural luster, makes the skin show pink and good color. Light and watery texture, as fresh as water, clear and thin, low density aquatic texture. Get rid of the thick feeling of foundation fluid. Thin and light stick to the skin, makes the skin moisturizing and flawless. Um, I got a lighter color because that's the only color that was there. And then I got this brush. It's horrible. I have never used a brush like this before and I was surprised to find out that yes, it is just like a gimmick. The bristles are densely packed and fairly rigid but still super soft. Now the only issue is that the coverage is good but the finish is not flawless. This is useless. It's Look, and it took off all the product and it's like not doing anything. No, it's just making streaks in, in my foundation. Even this beauty, this cheap beauty blender is kind of putting patches, you cannot see it on camera, it's putting patches like here and oof, especially around my nose area and it's not full coverage at all, it's very patchy. Okay, so I'm gonna set my face with the setting powder, uh, setting powder. with the setting spray. Then we have the Master Fix Wear Boosting Setting Spray, locks in makeup, long lasting finish. A lightweight water based setting spray that keeps your makeup looking matte and amazing long lasting. You can do like this and then do this. It is so perfumey. Just dab it all over the face like so. BB Dream Wonder Powder Matte for a professional makeup artist, okay. It contains moisture element and whitening factor, a fine cake which provides your face with active protection from external aggressions, spelling is all over the place, dehydration and harmful effects of the sun rays, oof. Designed for shiny combination and oily skin. Now I'm gonna use this for mattifying. I don't have concealer, so I'm hoping this will brighten my under eye as well. This product has all the ingredients you don't want in your makeup. They do not have translucent powder. They only had like this kind of compact. Oh no. The product broke. This is the same palette I did my eye makeup with. It's not an eye makeup. This has a highlight, repair, blush, bronzer. These are all in powdered form. I have no idea why these are labeled like that. The bronzer is pink, the blush is brown. 
and the highlight is there's no shimmer in this and it says it's a combination models freedom to change anytime anywhere the weirdest palette I ever got so I'll be using this eyeshadow brush set which is made up of soft bristles for hygienic purpose and precise application this brush is excellent for contouring shaping and blending it is ideal to use with cream or powder products I got these brushes from Jadda. I don't do contour just doing contour here. Where's that fish brush of mine? Yeah. Oh, does anyone remember this chubby mermaid fishtail brush that broke the internet? Now this was being sold as the Slayer makeup application with this totally adorable chubby mermaid contour brushes. The chubby mermaid carve and contour brush is a multi-purpose vegan. Uh, okay. It's shaped like a fish. Make a brush designed with the versatility to apply powder, foundation, blush, highlight, or contour. This is an absolute nightmare to clean. It takes forever to dry. Okay, now for the blush. Okay, for blush application, I will opt to sweep the blush over the bridge of my nose in addition to the apples of my cheeks. This is for that cute as a button look. Okay, so what are these lying silk worms? Now this is a band of about four to seven milliliters near the lower edge of the eyelashes. To use a metaphor, it is like a silkworm lying on the edge of your lower eyelashes, which can only be seen when you smile. So this, the lying silkworm is oval in shape, looks round, full and elastic, and has a natural and smooth overall line. Please do not confuse this with eye bags. Eye bags are totally different. So this pencil is in the shade B09. It is smooth and creamy eyeshadow under eye brightening stick that provides vibrant eye color with easy application. Now you have to use this pen tip gently to draw along the lower eyelid and then slightly smudge it. Last thing left is just, this is an under eye brightening. Oh no. You know what the color of this is? It's same like this. It gives the effect of bright, beautiful, youthful eyes. Let me do the eyebrows. Charming, long-lasting eyebrow pen, two-in-one vitality, beauty eyebrow makeup. Just simply turn out the pen lead, draw from the brow front to the end gradually, and modify your brows evenly. Groom and blend eyebrow makeup with the soft spoolie brush on the dual-ended pencil. Okay, you know what? This eyebrow pencil is not bad. But then it's so creamy, like it gets smudged. I am really liking the eyebrow pencil. This eyebrow pencil is really good. Then we have the fake rose tinted lip and cheek stain. Apply three dots to the apples of your cheeks and blend quickly with fingertip. Please don't do that. I already showed you what it does. I'm gonna use a cotton bud. Ooh, the color intensity of this stain turned out to be just a bit too much. I am gonna tone it down later on. Uh, better to apply with cotton bud, especially on the lips. So this is the Bio Aqua 100 Wipes Makeup Remover. It removes all makeup impurities, dirt and grime. Doesn't clog the pores, tough on makeup yet gentle on skin, no harsh ingredients. Doesn't leave skin tight and leaves skin delicately cleansed and moisturized. It is not greasy, but it is very soapy. And this one does not have any artificial perfume or dyes, and there are no harsh chemicals that can upset your skin. I'm gonna take the makeup remover wipes from this. Just to lighten the lip stain. Just don't use too much of this. Okay, I'm gonna finish it off with some gloss, not from here. Okay, let me set my scarf up and then we'll see the finished product. Yay! Okay, everyone, so here is my final look. It looks so bad. How can I show you like the eye makeup? It's so bad. All patchy, stuff missing. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, you know what to do. In case you don't know what to do, don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do. But I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah is Bye. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.